Hello everyone, it's Roidman, and welcome back to Dark Cloud. Last time, we defeated Master Utan in the Wise Hall Forest and got ourselves to Brown Blue Village, where the moon people basically kidnapped us and we had to explain to our situation. And now this time, we are going to go to Queens to find the moon orb. Queens is right here. As you can see, it's another completely empty area. I mean, we just go like here. There is some areas where there's like all that stuff and such. But there's really no buildings inside as well. So let's see what happens when we try to go in outside. Wait, why can't I go on my walking mode here? There we go. Probably should have just walked all the way there. But yeah, it's another empty village. Or at least town city. So let's just see what's up just outside the village here. Oh, you! So there are other humans left other than myself. I thought I was the only one left in this whole wide world. Good to know there's someone even though you are only a kid. I'm Rando. I sell goods here in Queens, and you? So you're who are towing. Oh, we don't have to stand here and talk to you. Why don't we go over to my shop? What? They brought that fat beast back to life? Fools! They must be from the east. They are up to some madness again. Those blasted easterners. Blood-sucking scum of the earth. Even back then. Darn. So what's the moon orb like that you're looking for? I see. Maybe it's lost in the undersea treasury. It's a shipwreck at the bottom of the Queen Sea. Most merchants in Queens use it as a warehouse. But it's changed lately. Now there are monsters everywhere. That giant monster that attacked Queens must be the cause of it. Today, it's so dangerous. A place that we ca cannot even go get our merchandise. Do you still want to go there? Alright, I'll help you. Come follow me. This, Queens, is a town of merchant traders. Some items we handle are really rare and expensive. Such expensive items need special care and handling. The safest place to keep such items here in Queens is... It's kind of a huge safe at the bottom of the sea, but you're wondering why that ship sank there, aren't you? It was about a hundred years ago. The queen reigning over Queens passed away. And that was when the townspeople, who adored the queen, sunk her favorite ship along with her. That's the wrecked ship at the bottom of the sea near Queens. When Queens revived as a merchant town, the Lake Queen's sunken ships started to serve as the undersea treasury. Sounds a bit disrespectful, but merchants are practical. They make the best of any situation. What? Oh, how are you going to get there? Take a look at that. It is a submarine. Turtle that makes trips to and from the shipwreck.
This is what the merchants use to ride to and store valuable items in the treasury. There, it's all yours. It only carries one person, so you have to go alone. How do you operate? It's easy. You just get in and it takes you to the shipwreck. It was designed for merchants who know little about machines and are only good at counting money. I'll be in my store, so shop, stop by if you need anything. My store carries lots of stuff. Oh, and I'll give you a hand, but I have to change you. But I, I have to charge you for the good. Even at times like this, a merchant is a merchant. Take care. So before we decide to go into that shipwreck, um, where's that? Okay, I think this is the shop. What do you sell here? You sell. Premium water, which we don't need at the moment. Holy water. We might need that. Oh, we can buy bombs again, so that's nice. And by the way, this is actually probably cheaper than going to the Wise Owl shop. So, we do have the Mighty Healing, but we already have like... Three Holy Waters, and an Antidote, and Mighty Healing. So we probably won't need that for a while. If anything, we're probably good on items for for the time being. There's really also nothing for us to really sell. So, luckily this village actually does have a shop right open right away. So that's at least good. And this is also a fishing spot. So you can probably fish for stuff as well. So, let's get into the turtle and see if we can just get into the first floor. Okay, we did that before that. Uh, right on the submarine. Down! Down to the steps we go! to just get get over here but apparently this this boat is now infested with monsters wonder how that happened oh well we're still not in the dungeon basically we have to take this hook and ride ourselves up so this first floor layer it's going to have a atla for us. So let's see what we can do with this new dungeon. We are base. We should basically be broken with our attacks still. Let's just check something. Okay, what's coming to towards me? Ah! Okay, still got one hit on me, but still, we got some undead pirates. Oh, you know what? We'll go this way first. Okay, so far nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, we basically have these guys. Which is basically those skeleton soldiers, so nothing too much to worry about. Okay, I definitely want to get this thing down before that crab gets to me. Gunny. Why are you called Gunny? I don't know why, but you're already down. We found one Atlas, so that's good. Jack Store. Right, remember, this is a town full of merchants, so a lot of these te towns houses are going to be shops instead. Also, I'm just going to quickly just 
Eh, you know what? If it's a mimic, it's a mimic. Tasty water. Okay, good. Let's keep going this way. Goro is now viable for us to use now with the battle axe, so that's at least good. So let's see here. What is waiting for us on this floor? Ah, more pirates. Luckily they don't fake us out, so that's at least good. I like that. I heard something. Yep, that's what I thought I heard. Okay. Do have some more items in here, so let's get that. Grab the Etla. Oh, so majority of the creatures monsters in this dungeon should be more of a water attribute, so your thunder attribute weapons should be good. Or basically, me, my overpowered buster sword. But yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of shops here at the moment. Essentially, this might be a place that we'll constantly go back to just for like items and such. Okay, let's take care of Gunny first. There we go. Gunny's taken care of. Where's the other one? I'm just making sure I'm watching that durability because right now I need to repair. Where's that repair powder? There we go. And we might as well drink up some water. I'm gonna keep the anti-freeze on me for the moment because I believe there are some enemies in this dungeon that can freeze you. Prison. Why did we just collect a prison? I thought this was a shop full of merchants. Okay. So remember those holy waters, they can be used on those undead soldiers. Well, we found ourselves the exit. Okay, this is going to be a good prime example of using this attack. Okay, really? Fine, fine, we'll take them out one at a time. We'll be boring. Heavy. I'm gonna have to figure out who Evie is. And we got ourselves a hook. That is gonna be our way to, out of this du dungeon. Flapping fish! Oh, so, water source! I don't know how well wise it is to drink water from the ocean, but a water source is still a good water source. Hopefully it doesn't make us more hydrated. Oh yeah, yeah I was about to check what the, in the world is Evie. Favorite of the sea, of, favorite of sea fish, fishing bait. Eh, I wonder if it sells for a lot. What else did I get? They will spoil unless kept on ice. They will spoil unless kept on ice. Okay then. Probably should, actually, we probably should sell that fish before it spoils then. Well, we found an instance for to use Xiao. And what quite an it? Okay, so the first one was basically a bottomless pit. The second one was basically water. This one's just spike. Come on, there we go. Where's the other one? Oh, before I decide to slay you, let me upgrade my weapon and just do all that. Yes, we're gonna upgrade my weapon. All right, it had the serpent sword on it. And let's see if we can build it up now. Okay, we're good on that. 
We still more, need more ice. And we need more Mimic Breaker. So I do know for a fact I have some Mimic Breaker. As for just dealing with the undead, let's put that there. I did just say we need more ice on this. And we don't need to ra really raise up its speed, but let's raise up its attack a little bit more. And let's see here. Yeah, attack is still what we need. Okay. That'll do. Hopefully we can collect many riches from this dungeon. Or at least shipwreck. And we got somewhere to sell some road. Let's see what's in this last part of the dungeon. Okay, here... Gunny. And there is... Really? There we go. There is the back rooms, but... We don't have the item for the back rooms yet. Prove me wrong. Okay, that was the last map, so... Okay, we got ourselves a bicycle. And let's see, what else is in here? There is this. Get ourselves a chimney. Now there... Now in order to get to the back rooms, we have to go down through here, but... It's filling with water. Am I hearing something like whistling? Wait, I wonder. Not MV, but what about the flappy fish? Oh! Yeah, the flappy fish is our back here area. A young general appeared. You know what? As long as I'm careful, I should be able to go into the back rooms and get some stuff. Trust the young master. If the if it's basically surrounded, we're just gonna get the heck out of there, but we just also have to keep in mind that the enemies do respond. Okay. So I see that and yeah, get away from Gunny. There is that that, so we're basically just here on collection. Attack plus three, that's nice. And yeah, we just have to basically just kite that one enemy right there. So let's collect these items first before we even think about trying to kite that enemy. Antidote drink, and what else? Oh, an Ardron's feather. Okay. I'm gonna try to lure that gunny over here first before we try to even go in anywhere. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Drawn's Feather to just basically speed all the way through this. Now we do have to keep in mind that that gunny is there. And I'm just realizing how bad of an idea this is. Because, yeah, one enemy is blocking that path. I'd rather not have my path blocked, so th no thanks. Let's just get the heck out of here. We got it. We got good enough items. Okay, I'm gonna try to get some hydration at least. They can't really catch up to me anyway, so that's good. Get away from you. And trust the young master. Now just remember, the the enemies do respawn, but. They haven't been giving us much problems, so there's nothing much to worry about, so that's at least good. So let's just see how much we have to dodge. Okay, we don't have to dodge much there. 
you know, we, we're going to need Shao, so I'm just going to break Shao out. It's just a simple run the heck away from anything that decides to move or breathe. Okay, let's keep going. And, yep, there is a pulley here. And if you remember, we got a hook. Let's use that hook to get up. Now the thing is this, we can actually leave the dungeon. Even though we're going up, we can still leave the dungeon temporarily. And luckily, it'll just take us outside. So you're probably wondering, how the heck do I, do I edit the village? Well, obviously the village is inside there, as we remember. So all we have to do is just go and enter over there. Basically, that's Queens, but we're also outside of Queens. So we have to enter Queens just to edit the village. So let's check our geometry. We have Jack's store and road. Fortunately, we have not collected anyone, but this we have a fish cart, which... It's not it. Um, you know, let's just find some place to put you at the moment. We'll put you here for right now because that's actually the first thing we see, so. Once we get people into this village, we'll figure out what the heck we're doing. But at the moment, I don't even know what the road's for. There might be a villager that might need road, but eh. I'm just gonna just decorate it to where you could just probably... And then we'll just do the same with this one if there's... Actually, no? Um... We'll give two here. And two here. We'll probably modify the road later. And let's see here. Anything we can do with Jack's store. We need a lamp, a room, and then there's a sign. Yeah, not really much we could really do here for that, so... Honestly, the last thing I could probably think that we could easily do is I could easily sell the fish, but we didn't really use that much resources, so Let me just check use up my items first And see what we can buy at the shop So let's see here weapon durability that up Yeah, everyone seems to be good if anything, I'll just restock on stuff that I need. For example, water and such. And repair powders. I may actually sell one of my drawn feathers. Because the drawn feather that I have hasn't broke yet. Okay, so something that's actually overdue. Let's buy ourselves two bombs. We are going to encounter an enemy that will be a problematic. Buy two of these. And what else? How many cheeses do I have? I have plenty of cheese, plenty of revive powders. Yeah. I am super okay with this. I'm not gonna buy premium water yet, because we still have our regular water. There's no reason for me to buy water when I have that. So, instead of just... So instead of just basically... Selling the fish for money. We're gonna go fishing. Yep, we're gonna fish. Right, I put the fishing pole away. There's just gonna be one day where I'm just gonna grind on fishing, but yeah, we're just gonna sell the fish then. How much? Do, how much do you buy bait for? How much is envy to you? I will take it! Oh, 
this is also me. I'll also take it. And this is where this comes in handy. I'm gonna buy this, because no matter what, it'll always sell back. Now our money is protected. So, with us getting into Queens and seeing what the shipwreck is all about, next time on Dark Cloud, we'll be going back into the shipwreck.